Dum de dum dum dum. Can we ixnay the sound effects? Sabrina. Spooky sounds are supposed to inspire the potion making. You want me to be inspired? Tell me I'm done. Hmm. hmm. Not until you bring that time freeze potion to a frothy boil. And after that, you have ancient voodoo practices, hexes 101, and advanced levitation. Hello. I am only one humble 12 year old. Other kids don't have to do any of this stuff. Other kids aren't half witches like you. So I get saddled with witch work and mortal chores? Can we say prisoner in my own home? Sabrina, get over it. Everyone has different responsibilities in life. And what you're learning here is very important. Like bringing dragon slop to a boil is really gonna matter in the grand scheme of life? Um, that's zombie slop. Whatever. All I know is that every other kid in Greendale is out having a life and I'm stuck here doing witch work with the homegirls. My life is so not normal. Uh-oh. Yuck! Looks normal to me. Yep. <clears throat> Sabrina? Harvey. Uh, hi. Don't mind me. I was just mixing some potions. I mean lotions and the cauldron. I mean bottle exploded. Uh, right. Listen, Chuck Hansen scored a block of tickets to the spicy Backstreet Guys to Men concert tonight. Forty bucks a person. You in? So in. Give me a minute to tap the cash pipeline. No can go, Sabrina. But Uncle Quigley, this is crucial concert going. If I don't show, everybody's gonna think I'm a total Melvin. And where do you think you're gonna get the money to go? Uh, you? I'm not a bank, Sabrina. I just gave you money two nights ago. Besides, did you forget that tonight is family night? The family that plays together stays together. I've got trivia whiz. But, but Harvey's family's letting him go. That's their choice. Your family wants you to stay home for some quality time. Ugh, I have no freedom to do anything. Don't sweat it, Sabrina. Maybe next time, okay? Yeah. If I ever get a life. Going to your birthday party would mean instant coolness. Take pity on me, Jim, for I am nerd. Oh, nerd. <laughs> okay, you can come. I'll get my Starfleet uniform cleaned and pressed. You better not forget my present. Okay, people, who else among you is a chosen one? Oh, yeah. Hey, that's you! Come on, Kate Big! Come on! What cruel act is Gem up to now? Passing out tickets to her big birthday bash tonight. Already got mine. A party on a school night? Talk about freedom. I guess rich kids get to do whatever they want. You should go, Sabrina. To a gemstone party? I'd have more fun getting my body dissected by aliens. Oh, come on, Brina. Don't make me go by myself. Please, please, please. I'm all right, but you I owe me big. Come on, Sabrina. You gotta admit, this party rocks. Sure, but take away the $100 door prize from Puff Daddy's live performance, and it's really just a run of the mill hoedown. Nothing special. All expenses paid trip to France. Compliments of Jim. Care for one? Wow! <laughs> nice try, Willie, but now it's my turn. Montgomery? <laughs> <gasps> oh, look, I win. Happy birthday to me. Did you see that? Yeah, that Montgomery's got a great swing. Oh, brother.
Okay, everybody. I just want to thank you all for coming to honor me. And yes, I agree. Your little lives are so much better because of my birth. And I... Huh? I... I smell unworthiness. Unworthiness? But, but, Jeb, you invited me. For one simple reason. Every party needs a scapegoat. And you are it! Uh <laughs> okay, who else is unworthy of being in my presence? Spellman? Please push the button, you'll be doing me a favor. What are you babbling about, Spellman? You're an extra special guest who gets the personal tour of my 100-room mansion. She's up to something. <laughs> this is where Daddy's people create all my fabulous toys. Hello, everyone. That one is evil. One day, brother, a revolution. They adore me. All aboard! Jem, you have your own train? Theme park. Jemmyland opens next summer. Awesome! awesome. Man. You're so rich, I bet you don't even have to do chores and stuff. What is this word, chores? You'd know if you stayed at my house for a week. I have servants who take care of my every whim, and no one, but no one ever tells me what to do because it's my life! You mean, you get to plan your own day? You get to do whatever you want? No potions, no hexes, no Uncle Quigley family night? <gasps> High altitude makes me excitable. <laughs> You should have seen it, Salem. Biggest house I've ever seen. Maids and butlers, candy dispensers in every room. Yeah, well, welcome back to reality, princess. The Annies wanted me to make sure you checked out this week's witch work list. Huh? Ugh, why am I the only kid in Greendale living with a family of slave drivers? No one else does. Look at Jem, she has freedom, a life she's in charge of. I want Jem Stone's life! Ahem. Well, there is a way to make that happen. What are you waiting for? Your new life is but a zippity zap away. It's spooky time. Two hearts will now trade places. Two realities will now switch faces. Once necklaces of magic are worn, you'll swap lives like that's the way you were born. The spell can only end, provided the yin and yang necklace is reunited. Huh? Hmm, the spell said both necklaces have to be worn. So how do we get Jem to wear the necklace? Hmm. They're almost under us. Ruby, hurry up and do your business. Hmm. More? Can't. He shoots. He scores. Ah! Uh. Hey! What's the big idea? <laughs> Here we go. Time to rise and shine. <sighs> But it's only five in the morning, Auntie Zelda. Zelda, this <gasps> is Mrs. Chillings. Time to get up, Miss Stone. Salem, did you hear that? She called me Miss Stone. The spell worked. I've switched lives with Jem. I'm the richest girl in Greendale. Woohoo! Is this place styling or what? Now I see why you liked it here. This Mama Casa has everything. I could get used to this. I have 
morning, huh? Stone. Master Salem, please choose a level. Did he just call me master? Or would you prefer Lord Ooh. Salem, King Salem, Tsar Salem the First? Uh, master will do all right for now. <laughs> boy, oh boy, Quake's gonna learn some new words when we get home. Let's try level three, please. <laughs> Wow! No way, this is totally jamming. We hit pay dirt, baby! Yahoo! I can finally live life the way I wanna. A whole day living in the lap of luxury with no one telling me what to do. Aha, uh -huh, there you are, Miss Doan. We're already running behind schedule. Guess rich people are so important they need schedules, huh? Indeed. As your personal assistant, it's my job to make certain you stick to yours. Hear that, Salem? I've got a personal assistant. Meow. So when do I get to meet my cool new family? I mean, meet for breakfast. Immediately, madam. Maybe we can all go yachting tonight. I highly doubt that. Huh? Oh, absolutely, Enid. You wouldn't have believed the size of that rock on her hand. Just absolutely gorgeous. Oh, well, sweetheart, if you just learn to work on your backhand. <sighs> uh, morning. I said good morning, Mom and Dad. Uh, I've had. Uh, good morning, Sabrina. I'm on the phone, dear. Yeah, well, I just thought maybe we could, you know, talk. Yeah, not now, Sabrina. Uh, stocks are up, shares holding, investment solid. <laughs> Mom? Sabrina, can't you see I'm busy? Anyway, did you see the cheap engagement ring he gave her? <laughs> and she still loves him. <laughs> I was just thinking, maybe we could spend the day together. Take a ride on the horses out by the stable. Charles, will you do something? Oh, uh, Sabrina, you wouldn't want us to smother you with attention, now would you? <laughs> Independence builds character. <laughs> now, uh, run along before we have you shipped off to boarding school. Huh? Man, you call these parents? Ugh. No wonder Jem is such a little brat. Huh? Time to move on, Miss Stone. You're falling behind on your morning activities. Activities? it, my partner in pleasure? Not great. Anything about this place bother you? Right, is this a trick question? Lufa, please. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> me like it. Don't you think this place is kind of missing something? Yeah, Hilda, Zelda, Quigley, and the smell of middle-class life. Salem, I'm serious. So am I. Remember how miserable you were back home? Witch work and mortal chores and never any freedom? You're right. Maybe I'm just overreacting. Sabrina! Harv, boy, am I glad to see you. Hey, hey, Miss Stone! Hey, 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 Miss Stone! Your father's stock has just skyrocketed and you become the huh? richest girl in the world! Uh, Are you excited? Uh, how do you feel? Yeah. Will you leave me alone? I'm just trying to have a normal life. Okay, that's it. I've got to find Gem and unite our necklaces, because I've had enough. Good luck, <gasps> Stoneman. Or should I call you Stone? Gem? That's right. I'm a bona fide half witch, just like you used to be. And I absolutely love my new magic powers. What is your wish, oh mistress? 
Just adore me for now. Look, I've made a cost club size mistake. We have to switch back. Ah! As if. Being a witch is way too much fun, Sabrina. Beats me why you wanted to swap lives. <laughs> ah! What have I done? Wait, Aunt Hilda and Zelda, Uncle Quigley, they can help me. I'm sorry, but I've never laid eyes on you in my life, little girl. But Uncle Quigley, I'm your niece, Sabrina. I only have one niece, Jem Spellman. Never visits, though. I wish I did have a friendly niece like you. Where's Aunt Hilda and Zelda? Oh, right, those nice girls that used to live with us. They're up on the roof. I'm afraid they were no match for Jem's magic. <gasps> the house! It's a major disaster! Why bother cleaning? It's just me. No fun and games around here. You should probably go back home, little girl. I wish I could. I'm sure your family misses you. Not half as much as I miss them. Aha! Uh -huh. You have a lot oh, of explaining no. to do, young lady. Uh, no, I just I received your daily progress reports job. on your morning oh, no, activities. No, no, no. Below par. Unacceptable for a stone. Someone's been getting a little too much liberty around here. Uh, oh, no, no, not you, Joyce. <laughs> Our daughter, Sabrina. But I'm sure it's nothing boarding school won't straighten out. Boarding school? Hey, let me go! Ah! Ah! You can't do this to me! Let me out of here! Hey, what's all the excitement? Salem, we gotta get out of here now! Are you nuts? I ain't leaving the Pleasure Dome. No way, no how. Uh-uh, that's final. Oh, yes, Doctor. I'd like to make an appointment to have my kitty fixed. <laughs> Like I was saying, let's blow this joint. Ready? <laughs> Whoops. Uh, I, I should really get those trimmed. Come on. I think I got an idea. She's getting away after her. I can't believe we actually made it back home. During my last witch work session, Hilda and Zelda taught me how to make a potion that stops time for everyone but me. Ah! We know you're we in there, huh? Yeah. Uh, Sabrina, it's Daddy. You need to turn yourself in right now before things get out of hand. Uh, you want to say something, sweetum? I'm on the phone. Classic. I'm almost done, Salem. I... Oh, no! I'm out of powdered dragon tail. You have 60 seconds to come out peacefully, Miss Stone. Quick, Salem, before this boils. Bring me the dragon tail from the downstairs spice rack. Hurry! What's all the racket? Who are you people? What's going on here? Salem to the rescue! <laughs> I couldn't be snakes. I like snakes. I'm the best at what I do, Bob. Your web is no match for my fists of furry. You two be sure to send me a wedding invitation. Coming in, Miss Stone. Here's your dragon tail. I'm gonna go inventory what's left of my nine lives. This ought to do it. Hmm. The little witch girl is up to something. Ah! 
Just what do you think you're doing, Stone? Freezing time, and the name is Spellman. What are you... No! I did it! It worked! With memories erased, let us rewind. Reality is restored for peace of mind. Hmm. Huh? I'm back in my room. Salem, we're back! We're home! <sighs> when did we leave? You don't remember anything? Then how come I do? Maybe I'm... I'm supposed to. Morning, Aunt Hilda and Zelda. So glad to see you guys. Can't wait to hit the witch work when I get home from school. Huh? Never know when it'll come in handy. Well, hey, Uncle Quig. Think we could play huh? a round of trivia with Whoa. tonight? But it's not even family fun night. So? Day I've had, I could use some family bonding. Well, you're on, Sabrina. <laughs> Feeling lucky all of a sudden? Nah, I've been lucky all along. I just didn't realize it. <sighs> Looks like a happy ending for everybody, huh? <laughs> Ready? Hey! Fire! Jump, jump, jump. So you want to go to the movies with me tomorrow? They're showing... Yes! Space Blobs from Space. Oh, sounds great. Meet you at two then? Deal. See ya. Hi, Uncle Quigley. Uh, Sabrina, do you know what this is? Uh, a letter? That's right. A letter from the bank. It says they called and left a message with a girl. Oh, yeah. I think I remember. They said to to call them back right away or your car would be re... re... Oh, what was that word? Repossessed? Right! Repossessed! Uh-oh. <laughs> um, you're probably mad at me, right? Oh, Sabrina, why didn't you write the message down? If you answer the phone, it's your responsibility to take a message. You can use my bicycle. And speaking of responsibility, Hilda, may I have a word with you? Sure, Quig. What's up? Remember that little rhyme we have about chores? Oh, boy, here we go. I'll do mine and you do yours. Everyone must, must do, do their, their chores. chores. And do you remember what your chore was? Sure. I'm supposed to water the plants. You mean these plants? So maybe I skipped a day or two. Mm. There's still plenty of life in these little guys. Uh-huh. You see what happens when you ignore your responsibilities? When will you girls learn? Huh? <gasps> oh, my gosh. Zelda, are you okay? I just don't know what went wrong. It was a simple experiment. Some bat toes, a few dragon's teeth, and just a pinch of dynamite. 
Uh, excuse me. I could use a hand here. Huh? Yuck. I feel like a piece of abstract art. <laughs> Oof. Zelda, not again. You know you're not supposed to do experiments in the kitchen. All right, that's it. Till you girls learn some responsibility, you're all grounded. grounded. Grounded? You can't ground me. I'm 600 years old. I haven't been grounded since that incident on the Mayflower. Those Puritans have no sense of humor. I can't be grounded. Not this weekend. I'm going to the movies with Harvey. And I have a symposium to attend. Then you'll just have to call and cancel. No one goes out this weekend, and that's final. That's telling them, Quigster. And you're grounded, too, Salem. Me? Why? Because I don't like to be called uh, Quigster. Uh. <laughs> don't do this. Don't do that. Quigley's turning into a real control freak. Heavy on the freak. It's a mortal thing. Bossing people around makes them feel powerful. <laughs> Blech. Do you know how embarrassing it was to tell Harvey I was grounded? I mean, how could Uncle Quigley uh -huh. do this to me? Wasn't he ever young? Mm. I think he's forgotten what it was like to have fun. Man, mm. how'd we ever get stuck with him? Uh, good morning, Uncle Quig. What's for br <gasps> Uncle Quigley? Hmm, that's strange. I don't smell bacon. What's the matter, Quig? The stove broke? Quigley's not here. Impossible. He's always here. I'm getting a bad feeling about this. Me too. Who's gonna make my breakfast? Oh, he's probably off somewhere thinking of new chores for us. Well, I'm gonna go find him. Uncle Quigley, are you out here? Hello? Here, Quigley, Quigley! Here, Quigley, Quigley, Quigley! <gasps> hey, look! It's a note. Dear everybody, since you were all so unhappy with me, I have decided to leave. <gasps> Uncle Quigley's run away from home? I have hired a qualified nanny to take my place. Please don't try and find me. Signed, Quigley. Wait a minute. How do we know Quigley really wrote this note? Wait, there's more. P.S. Please put this note in the trash. Keeping the house clean is everyone's responsibility. It's, it's Quigley. Quigley. I don't believe this. How could he just up and leave? And before cooking us breakfast. And what does he mean, qualified nanny? I guess it means he's found some nice little Mary Poppins type to look after us. <gasps> oh, my. Oh. Don't just stand there with your jaws hanging. Carry my bag, take my coat, and pick up this door. <coughs> Move it! Oh! Ah! <gasps> <Shut> <gasps> Oh, you have no idea how much that hurt. Ugh, is that a cat? Yes, miss. Miss? Strudel. Frau Strudel to you. Oh, what do your friends call you? I wouldn't know. Now line up. Hip, hip, hip. <gasps> All right. I have been hired to do a job, and I intend to do it. You will vacuum, you will mop, you will clean this dump until it shines like a brand new penny. Any questions? Yeah. If you've been hired to do a job, how come we're doing all the work? Silence! Oh. You girls will follow my orders or be grounded for life. And here's order number one. That cat stays out of this house. Are you allergic? No, I just hate cats. <laughs> Don't worry, she's not so tough. We'll just scare her off with a little magic. It'll be a cinch. Ten hot! And how is the cleaning coming? Very well, Frau Strudel, sir! I'll be the judge of that. Mm, not bad, not bad. But how about here? Aha! You missed a spot! But I thought fireplaces were supposed to be sooty. Not on my watch, they're not. Uh, Frau Strudel, don't you want to see how I clean the front closet? I hope it meets with your high standards. Huh, it better. <laughs> <laughs> Of that closet at once. <laughs> huh? I'm talking to you, squash boy. Make yourself useful. Move it, move it, move it. Man, she's good. 
Stand back, ladies, and watch how a real witch handles things. That is one tough nanny. Passable, not bad. That cuticle's a mess. Fix it. Sir, yes, sir. From now on, you will all rise daily at all 600 hours. Breakfast will be served at all 615 sharp, followed by your chores. I expect my prune juice to be waiting for me. Now, lights out. This has gone far enough. She's worse than Quigley ever was. I agree. This calls for drastic action. Okay, no more Miss Nice Witch. Mix in five sunflower petals. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Two dove feathers. Two dove feathers. And finally, one set of love beads. Check. Back in the 60s, all the witches had them. Flower petals, peace sign medals, purple drapes and A-track tapes, groovy cosmic fuzzy dice, make our nanny really nice. Is it supposed to do that? Yeah, but there's also supposed to be a loud poof. <gasps> there we go. Ta-da! Ladies, may I present the mystical wand of niceness. Guaranteed to turn the worst sourpuss into a ray of sunshine. All right. Cast the spell on the nanny's prune juice, but not too much. This magic is very powerful. Here goes. That should do it. One nice nanny coming up. <laughs> hmm. You know, just to play it safe, one extra pass. <laughs> you can't be too nice. Breakfast is served. I'll get the paper. Hmm. Maybe a teensy bit more magic wouldn't hurt. Morning, Aunt Zelda. Here I come, ladies, and I expect breakfast to be ready. Better safe than sorry. <laughs> Uh, good morning. Are we missing someone? I'm here. Let's eat. The sooner we finish breakfast, the sooner we can start on some new chores. Anyone want some prune juice? No. no. Fine, more for me. Ah. Get out of here. Oh, oh, oh. Hmm. I could have sworn you liked that cat. Uh, where was I? You were about yeah. to drink the juice. Ah, right. Are you ladies okay? Sure. Oh, sure. We're Fine. Better, better, better. better. Well, cheers. <laughs> ah, that hits the spot. Mmm, this is really delicious. What do you call it? Uh. Toast? You really must give me the recipe. Come on, everybody, try some. Catch! Hmm. Ah! Hey, is it hot in here or is it me? No, oh, that feels so much better. You, you know what this place needs? Some music! Oh, yeah, baby, that's the groove. Oh, look, a friend of nature. Huh? Ah. Come on, kitty, let's oh. dance. <laughs> Help. I think it's working. Let's do a test. Uh, there's a midnight movie on TV tonight. Can we watch it? Of course, oh. stay up as late as you want. And would you mind if we skipped our chores today for our strudel? <laughs> chores, <laughs> schmores, I mean, who needs them? I want everyone to have Fun! And from now on, no more Frau Strudel, all right? Call me Rainbow. Help! 
Yes, yes, right. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Hey, guess what? I got the new Egg Yolk CD, Scrambled Love. Want to come over tonight and listen to it? Cool, that'd be fun. Uh, you sure it's okay with that nanny of yours? Oh, don't worry about her. Since a week ago, she's let us do anything. It's great. See you tonight. Oh. Hey there, Savvy. I'm doing a little Tai Chi. You care to join me? Oh, hi, Rainbow. Uh, maybe later. Oh, whatever. Go with the flow. Would you mind if I flow over to Harvey's house tonight? We're... Oh, no problemo. Stay out as late as you want. Hey, you want to borrow my car? I'm only 12. Oh, poo-poo. Age is just a concept. You gotta let go, baby. Be free, free, free! Huh? What's wrong, Salem? <clears throat> what does it look like? Little Miss Flower Child tie-dyed me. Rainbow, can I have a word with you? I'm always open for sharing. Didn't you say you were gonna feed my fish? Yes. Oh, oh he, he looks a little tired. He looks a little dead. What did you feed him? <gasps> well, just what I eat. A zen vegetarian diet. Lettuce, a radish, some steamed vegetables. He's a piranha. He doesn't eat vegetables. He eats meat. Oh, well. It's not like he's really gone. He's just passed on to another plane. Well, I liked huh? him on this plane. Uh, Rainbow. Rainbow, what did you do to my laboratory? Oh, this place was full of bad karma. I just spruced it up a little. You spruced? Who said you could spruce? I never said you could spruce. What did you do with all my chemicals? Oh, chemicals give off such bad vibes. I replaced them with fresh-picked flowers. They're much more spiritually evolved. You had no right to touch my stuff. That was very, very irresponsible of you. Well, don't be so uptight. I mean, you haven't even seen the best part yet. Watch! Tree bark? Uh, dandelions? For dinner? I call it dandelion surprise. Well, dig in. <laughs> Ugh. This is supposed to taste like this? Mm, you're right. It needs some crabgrass. I'll be right back. Don't be angry at me, guys, but I miss Uncle Quigley's cooking. I miss his cleaning. I even miss his lectures on responsibility. But most of all, I miss him. If I don't eat something soon, I'm going to pass out. Ah! Don't even think about it. I hit the jackpot! Your neighbor was throwing out a perfectly good pile of aged crabgrass. You know, I'm really not that hungry after all. Hey, Sabrina, Harvey's here. Huh? Oh, no, what's he doing here? Mm. Um, he called earlier to say he was coming over. He what? I can't let him see the house like this. Why didn't you tell me? Forgot. You should have written it down. If you answer the phone, it's your responsibility to take a message. Ah, there you go again. You girls are really fixated on this responsibility thing. I'll get it. Wait! Don't! No! No! You can't let Harvey see this mess. Come in, come in. So you're Sabrina's little friend, Harvey. Hi. You're the nanny? Nanny, spirit guide, muse. I'm not into labels. Call me Rainbow. Uh, Harvey, what are you doing here? My CD player broke, so I thought we could listen to it over here. You can't. I mean, it's two, two, I'm ready. Oh, don't be so formal, Sabby. Come on in, Harv. Wow. Have a seat. Where? Oh, <laughs> excuse the mess. We're doing some, uh, spring cleaning. It isn't spring. <laughs> you smell something? It's, uh, incense. <laughs> Smells more like old gym socks. Uh, gym socks flavored incense. It's the latest thing. So where's your CD player? Uh, Sabby? It's right over, uh, somewhere else. Rainbow, have you seen the CD player? 
Oh, I threw it out. All those electromagnetic waves interfere with your karmic equilibrium. You threw out my CD player? Relax. I got these really cool Tibetan temple bells instead. Ah! <laughs> oh! Uh, uh, well, maybe we can watch a music video or something. Rainbow, where's the VCR? And the TV? Got rid of them. I had to make some room for the Japanese sand garden. Come, children. Let's all sit around the sand garden, join hands, and get in touch with our inner child. Uh, um, I just remembered my outer child has to be somewhere. At least have a nice cup of six-grain soy milk. Um, I think I'm allergic to, uh, whatever that is. Gotta go, bye. <laughs> I want Uncle Quiggly back. We were just talking about the same thing. Well, if you ask me, it was very irresponsible of him to leave us. Maybe we should have thought of that before we ignored our responsibilities. Zelda's right. We all messed up big time. Now how do we get him back? It won't be easy. He could be anywhere by now. Maybe we can... Zelda, look! Quiggly went to business. Quiggly the kitschy wear king. No order too large or too small. Gelatin molds are specialty. Kitschy wear parties held daily. Come on, girls, we're going to a kitschy wear party. This is the place. And this little item is a real find. It's an ice cube tray that makes ice cubes shaped like little ice cube trays. <laughs> Oh, please, stop, stop. There's something different about him. He looks so, so... Happy? And check out this kitschy wear egg carton. With its specially cushioned chambers, your eggs can survive a drop from a ten-story building. Guess you'll have to scramble your eggs some other way. <laughs> 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 well, that about does it. Feel free to look over the kitschy wear line. Order forms are over there. Thank you. Hey, look who's here. Hi, Uncle Quigley. How you girls doing? Oh, great, great. Couldn't be better. How about you, Uncle Quig? Me? See for yourself. I think I finally found my true calling with kitschy wear. I've never felt so alive. The firm roundness of the fruit bowl, the seductive hmm. allure of the gelatin mold, the earthy burp of the self-seal hmm. lid. But, but say, I'm doing all the talking. What brings you three here? Oh, we were just in the neighborhood. Yeah, you know, just thought we'd swing by and say howdy. Oh, drop it. Uncle Quigley? I know we've been really irresponsible lately, and I know it's wrong of us to ask, but you wouldn't want to come back home, would you? You... you want me back? All of you? Yeah, we really miss you, and you're cooking! And we see what happens when no one does what they're supposed to do. You were right. If we're gonna live together, we all have to accept some responsibility. Girls, I... I don't know what to... Uncle Quig, we kinda need you. Like, real bad. That's all you had to say. Oh, Uncle Quigley. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you don't mind if I host the occasional kitschy wear party at our house. Not at all. By the way, how did that nanny I hired work out? The nanny? Uh, she? Huh? huh? Be free, free, free. <laughs> I want to be free, free, free. Hey, wasn't that... Uh, forget it. I don't want to know.
Dumpty dum dum dum. I just can't make up my mind. Ah. Wrap up the magic act and go with the green. I thought cats only saw in black and white. That's dogs. Ugh, disgusting creatures. You're sure you go with the green? Then red it is. Oh, gee. And just where do you think you're going, young lady? To the mall, Uncle Quigley. Chloe's going to meet me there. It's Saturday, and... And Saturday is your what? Chore day. And the rule in this house is... You don't go anywhere before your chores are finished. Remember the family meeting. Yours was the deciding vote. Chores not finished during the week have to be done first thing Saturday morning. But I only voted that way to get out of doing chores on Friday night. I have the feeling this is going to get unpleasant. Speaking of unpleasant Salem, don't you have a cat box to clean? Dumb rules. Ugh. Rules are there for a reason, Sabrina. It's important to follow them. Wrongo, Uncle Quig. What's important right now is to blow through my chores and get to the mall. Telling Houdini's cornflakes. How could I have put off so many things? That's why we should follow the what? Child labor laws? No, the rules. I guesstimate it'll take no more than two hours, tops. Two hours? I haven't got two hours to waste doing chores. And no magic. Nice outfit! Gunning for Mr. Blackspell's ten worst dressed list? Oof. Sorry, in a hurry! <laughs> hey! Yeah. Achoo. Watch it! Watch it? Maybe a bless you, or sorry about the sniffles, Salem. That would have been nice. Oh, thank heavens. It's not broken. Your one-inch scale model of a UFO for this year's Roswell convention. Hand it over and I'll have it dusted for you in a flash. No, Sabrina. No one is supposed to touch this. It's a rule, remember? Sorry. Forgot the rule. Maybe this don't touch sign will help remind you. Yeah, that'll help. Sabrina, I'm going out to run an errand. I'll be back in a bit. Okay, Uncle Quigley. Great. Now I finally got the place to myself. I'll be done in no time. Ta-da! Only two more chores left. Dust the bookshelf in my room and the spooky jar. And I've still got time to make Chloe eat them all. If I hurry. Look at this new setup Uncle Quigley made for the spooky jar. That guy has way too much time on his hands. Whoa! The spooky jar is for the casting of spells and incantations only. For your own safety and for the protection of those around you, Sabrina. Huh? Please wash your hands after handling the spooky jar. I think Uncle Quigley has finally jumped his track. It was only a matter of time. Any violation of the hand-washing rule could result in traces of magic dust being left on your fingers, and this could cause some, uh, uh... Yeah, a problematic uh, problem. That's done. Now all that's left is the bookshelf in my room. Hey, 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 no pit stop for a nice hand washing? I'm a little pressed for time, okay? Besides, it's just another dumb family rule. How important can it be, anyway? You don't have to convince me. You're talking to the Mark McGuire of Rule Breakers here. For centuries, I've been saying that rules, like home run records, are meant to be broken. Cinderella. Now this one I don't mind dusting. It was my favorite storybook when I was little. Whoa! Ah! Who are you? Cinderella in the flesh. <laughs> oh, I love this. I'm free. No more cottage in the woods, no more chores. This is great. <gasps> 
Hey, you got any munchies? Maybe some porridge? Oh, where's the well? I'm a little thirsty. Is it me or is it stuffy in here? Oh boy, do we have a problem? I'd say a little spooky jar magic dust wiped off on your storybook. I didn't wash my hands. What am I going to do? If Quink finds out that I broke that rule, I'll be grounded for the rest of my life. Nice closet. Yours? <laughs> you know who has a lot of clothes? The Queen of Hearts. She tells everyone she's a size six. Who's she kidding? The woman has a backside the size of an ox cart. <laughs> Whew, the last time I heard a sound like that, it was coming from a broken garbage disposal. I don't want to be a bother, but do you mind losing the creepy cat? I'm allergic. Hold it, Salem. You've got to stay and help me out of this. I'm not the one who didn't wash my hands after dusting the spooky jar. You don't have hands. Will the insults never end? Talking cats bug me. Back where I come from in Once Upon a Time land, the Cheshire Cat won't shut up. Yak, yak, yak. A real motor mouth, that one. <laughs> Do you always laugh so... Loud? You want to talk loud? Try having a conversation with that giant who lives at the top of the beanstalk with the fee fi fo fum all day long? <laughs> I don't know how to say this, but ever hear the rule about picking up after yourself? Rule schmools. They're for dummies. Now what? Don't leave the room, okay? And don't do anything. Oh, she's a party. Hi, do you have the science homework assignment for Monday? I lost mine. Um, uh, I'll get it for you. Later, uh, I'll fax it to you. And where have you been hiding this handsome prince? <laughs> Hi, call me Cindy. Hi, wow, great outfit. Sabrina, I bet you'd look great in something like that. I do, it's my outfit. So tell me about yourself. Any brothers, sisters, wicked stepmothers? yoo -hoo, Sabrina! Uh, did we forget something? Mall, me, you, out of here? Extreme emergency. I was supposed to wash my hands after touching the spooky jar. I didn't. I dust up my Cinderella book, poof. Now I have Cinderella in my house, here, with Harvey. Ah! And with something that just got really broken. Nobody's supposed to touch that, it's a rule. What is it with you and rules? Give it a rest already. You broke it. You're in big trouble. No, you're not. I am. I can't let anybody know you're here. I'll have to take the blame. What's this? Can I have it? How does it work? Oh, I like it. This place is better than an enchanted forest. I'm never going home. That's Cinderella. No wonder her stepsisters hated her. She is unbelievably annoying. Oh, I love dancing with princes. So where's your kingdom? Huh? <laughs> Chloe, I am in such major trouble. I've got to send her back where she came from, and fast! And exactly how do you do that? Simple. You use a spooky jar to get rid of a spooky girl. I hate to admit it, Salem, but you're absolutely right. If this works, I swear I'll never break the rules again. I was asleep, and you interrupted my genie in the bottle dream. It's my favorite dream. This better be excruciatingly important. It's a huge emergency. I need a spell guaranteed to transport somebody back to Once Upon a Timeland. Pronto! Otherwise, as soon as Quigley gets home, my life will be over. Guess you're supposed to put it on. Tip your hat and say so long. Speak their name and they are gone. <laughs> That's it? That's the spell? I'm tired. I'm cranky. Take it or leave it. So long. Uh, Sabrina? I, I was wondering if... Harvey? Huh? Hey, I was thinking, how about we have a party? 
Maybe invite a couple of elves, a few pixies, a talking bear or two. Oh no! I sent the wrong person to Once Upon a Time Land! <laughs> a party! Great idea! Um, pick out an outfit, go through my whole closet, try on everything, throw stuff on the floor, knock yourself out! <laughs> that takes care of her for a while. Okay, think. Think! Harvey's been zapped into a book, and Cinderella's still here. What do we do now? In a word, panic! Panic? Why? Harvey's in Once Upon a Time Land. It will change the fairy tale, and that could have serious consequences. It could? Ah! Ugh. Salem, tell me how to save Harvey. Easy on the coat. Okay, okay. It's complicated, but it can be done. Oh, I hope it means you're gonna use more magic. I love mm. it when you guys do that stuff. Mm. You're both lucky I'm the one you're dealing with. A lesser warlock wouldn't be up to the task. Here's the deal. Cool. Your mission, Sabrina, should you accept it, is to infiltrate Once Upon a Time Land. Once there, you are to find Cinderella's fairy godmother, Emma. Only she can grant the wish that will allow Harviella and this person, Cinderella, to switch places. But the switch must occur no later than noon, or Harvey will be stuck in Once Upon a Time Land forever. These pictures will self-destruct now. Huh? Way cool. She accepts. I wish I could go. The spell of a traveler I have in this rhyme. I beg it to take me to Once Upon a Time. Whoever you are, don't track mud on my clean floor. Harvey! It's me, Sabrina! Thank goodness! Hey, what happened to me? This has something to do with that weird girl I met back at your house, doesn't it? I don't hear any scribbing going on in there! Girls, go check on Harvey Ella! Oh no! My wicked stepsisters are coming! Hide! You're not scrubbing the floor. We're gonna tell. It's Lumpy Gruel in another bath in cold well water for you tonight. I don't know where he came from, but I like him better than Cinderella. Yeah, he doesn't laugh as much. That helps. And do something about the drapes. They look, ugh, fat! Isn't it amazing how all Pain and the Neck girls kind of look alike? What? Never mind. Finish your chores later, okay? We've got to go find Emma, the fairy godmother, before noon. Who? I'll explain later. Right now, we've got to go, okay? He shoots! He scores! Guys in sports, Yeehaw! what is up with that? <laughs> Hurry, Harvey, we haven't a minute to lose. Yeah, I got that. But why? I mean, what's going on? What happened to me? It's complicated. Look, just trust me. What we've got to do right now is concentrate on finding Emma so we can get you home. Excuse me, Mr. White Rabbit. We're looking for Emma, the fairy godmother. Can you help us? Sorry, I'm late for a very important date. No time to talk. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Dumpty. Have you seen a fairy godmother named Emma? We're really in trouble and... Oh, do I know from trouble? I'm coming to party. The wall I was sitting on, not up to code. And I'm suing somebody big time. But weren't you rocking back and forth instead of sitting still like you were supposed to? I'm an egg. I got a round bottom. She wants me to sit still. Goldilocks, wow, it's actually you. Hey, have you seen Emma, the fairy godmother? Okay, I'd love to help you look for her, but I'm being booked for trespassing. Ugh, those bears. I took a little nap in their house, like a big whoop. I don't believe it. She's listed. Hello? 
this is Emma. I'm sorry, but I'm not available right now. It's an answering machine! I'm out of town attending the Fairy Godmother's annual convention. Please leave your wish and I'll grant it when I return. Thank you. This is awful. Nothing is working out right. If I had only followed the rules in the first place... Uh-oh, what time is it? Well, I have about quarter to 11. We only have an hour and 15 minutes until noon. If we don't find Emma by then, we're going to be stuck here forever. 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 If I get out of this, I'll never break the rules again. I'll never break the rules again. Don't go in there. Boycott. Stand firm until the day of the fairy godmother is past and the era of the fairy god person has dawned. Thanks. I'll think about it. Today's topic is the difference between wishing and wanting. Not here. Ugh. And that is the new form for filing your wish-granting expenses. Any questions? Can I claim medical expenses? My client's laugh gets on my nerves so much that I've started seeing a therapist twice a week. Bingo! Found her! So that's why we need your help. To get Harvey home and get Cinderella back here. Oh! So that's why things have been so peaceful lately. Cinderella's gone. Oh my, doesn't that have a lovely sound to it? Not that I don't want Cindy back, but she never follows the rules, you know. That child can be such a pain in the wand. Please, isn't there some kind of switching places wish that can help us? I'm afraid the only way to make a switching places wish work is for Cinderella to put on this pair of glass slippers. It must be done before noon. No, that's not right. Uh, before five. No, wait. Before five is the early bird special at the Magic Zap Cafe. Noon. That's it. Stroke of noon. And that's noon in Once Upon a Time Land's time zone. Oh, my goodness, that spell always makes everyone involved with it forget all sorts of things. Did I forget to tell her that noon our time is the same as noon her time? Oh, no! I'm doomed! Have you been? That girl is driving me up the wall. Chill, Chloe. All we have to do is get her to put these glass slippers on, and she's so gone. Where is she? In your Aunt Hilda's room. Probably trashing the place. <laughs> Snow White, eat your heart out. So what do you think? Is this gonna kill at the party? Is it me? It could be, with the right accessories. Nah, I don't do glass slippers. I got this thing about my toes. I don't like people to see them. Hold everything! This is it! This is the outfit! Now what? Wow. Cool jeans. But you know, my Aunt Hilda has this rule. Never ever wear blue shoes with retro bell bottoms. A rule? Oh, honey, are you talking to the wrong person? Lay some blue shoes on me. Darn, no blue shoes! Oh, here they are. See how stupid rules are? These are gonna go perfectly with this outfit. <laughs> Sabrina, I, I I think something happened that I should be mad at you about, but for some reason I, I've forgotten what it is, and I feel really dizzy. You know, that happens to me all the time. You probably just need a little fresh air. Hello, Mr. Quigley. Hello, Harvey. Always a pleasure to see you. I'll call you later, tell you all about the science homework, okay? Yeah, uh, I guess. My UFO model! 
Salem! Where is that cat? How many times have I told him not to jump on the furniture? Uh, that would be 263 as of yesterday. Uncle Quigley, it's not Salem's fault. Explain. Long story, I kind of messed up. I had an unexpected visitor, and, well, one thing led to another. Even after we talked about the rule about not touching my model under any circumstances? There's that pesky R word again. Uncle Quigley, I have really learned my lesson about following the rules, and I promise I'll help you fix the model up as good as new. Right after she walks me to the corner, if that's okay. Fine, just don't dawdle. A lot more exciting than a trip to the mall. You sure you can't hang with me for a little while? No, I have to help Uncle Quigley. It really is my fault his model's broken. Come on, if we cut across the street, we'll get to the corner quicker. Sure. On second thought, I've learned my lesson. Like Uncle Quigley said, rules are there for a reason, and... Ow! And never mind, I get the point. Freaks. Savage, we love you.